staying with the discussion of fluid that aren't moving, we can also move into what happens when different objects are floating in the water. And this is what we call Archimedes principle. So you have an object, right? And it's floating in the water. That's what the water level is. Just like how the water holds up itself, whatever is in the water, there's pressure all the way around holding it up. And the net force that all these things combine to get you, it's called a buoyancy force. And because all parts of the fluid is happy, you can imagine that the pressure here underneath the object that's being floated and the pressure here should be the same, right? Same height, same pressure. So it turns out that the overall buoyancy force, which we call FB, it's actually the weight of the fluid displaced. So how much water got pushed away as a result of the object being in the water. So in considering these kind of questions, we have to be very careful about how we define our volume. So here we have this thing, which we call the volume of the body, but only a subset of that is the volume submerged. And it's a submerged part that is displacing fluid. The stuff on top, it's just hanging out on top. As long as we keep those volumes straight, these questions become quite easy. Quick free body diagram of the object that is floating in the water. You got the body and body G, and then you have your buoyant force. And this thing is floating in water, even though we can describe that as positive. Sum of forces is equal to zero. So that's gonna give us zero is equal to that. To be clear, we're asked for the fraction of the body submerged. So we're talking about the submerge ratio to the overall body volume. Well, how does that come about? Well, that comes about again with our old friend, density is equal to mass over volume, and that's where volume comes in. So we know that FB is equal to that. This guy is M fluid displaced times G. So the G can go away. And the mass of the fluid displaced is the density of the water times the submerged volume because that's the only part that's displacing the water. The body has a certain density that's given to us. And here, the total mass of the body uses the total volume of the body as well. So we're arranging that. We can get using 1000 again as my density for water. So I guess 99.5% submerged. And then part B, exactly similar. So we can go to the end right away. But the salt water is a little more dense than water, giving us 96.9% instead. So that's why you have more of your body out of the water, so it's easier to maintain and float and breathe in salt water if you swim in the sea versus if you're in a swimming pool in fresh water, say. So never getting these questions, as long as you keep track of which density and which volume you're talking about, these are really quite simple.